I remember standing in the kitchen saying, how do we tell our generation what we found? How do we f tell our generation that Jesus is the answer when nobody's expecting to find the answer in church in the subculture at that time? I mean, it was, you know, very divided. People weren't really looking to churches for answers. And before we knew of the wave that became known as the Jesus movement, and we knew we had to make a record. Chuck Smith, he, was, he didn't have an agenda. I once called him to his face, the most open-minded, closed-minded man I ever had met because when it came to the Bible and doctrine, he was very narrow-minded, but he was broad-minded enough to allow our drummer to do a drum solo on the stage at church, and then that was unheard of. It was 1970, and people who looked like us with long beards and coming out of the drug culture, it just really scared church people. We learned really quickly there's lots of ways to do church and that the Holy Spirit would have to build a bridge, otherwise we had no communication with a lot of very conservative people. So that's why I think our music is important because secular music can touch you just like a, a yeah. touching movie, but it's a very low, it's in the soul and in the mind where our music can hit you in the spirit and the heart. That's a big difference. Yeah. My hope for it is that uh, it can revisit something that was very real and very powerful 50 years ago plus years ago and inspire people that it can happen again i believe it can happen again in a different way and impact the world and maybe bring people back to square one because we've gotten kind of off the path a little bit with yeah. all of our entertainment worship and some of the stuff that we have in the church today so maybe back to the basics a little bit that's my hope for the movie